guys probably know what X Defiant is by now. I don't got to explain it to you, but they've been making some big moves. The biggest one being they're actually listening to player feedback. So we did a video on this the other day, and I was trying to work towards unlocking the ACR and some of the other weapons in this game. And it turns out a lot of the progression was bugged, so I couldn't actually unlock it. They put out a few tweets talking about how they're working on fixing progression and they just couldn't get it done. So they just decided, you know what? Everybody gets every gun and every attachment. Now, normally I like something to work towards, but since this is just the beta, we can just throw on whatever weapon, whatever attachment, and just test a lot of these guns out. So we've already used the AK and the M4. I really want to try out the ACR. I have not used this gun in years. So we're going to throw this on a class. And as you can see, we just have every attachment for it now. We'll, we'll go through and make a class for this in a minute. But what I really wanted to try out is this other sniper. I, at first, I didn't like how sniping was in this game because I feel like this sniper just hit marker too much. But I kind of got the hang of it a little bit into our last video. And now we actually have the better sniper to use. So I'm going to go ahead and make some classes real quick. And we're going to hop in and see how these guns do. So this is the ACR build I'm going to be trying out. I just looked this up. I got it from right away. So shout out to him. But while I was throwing all these attachments on, I noticed that there's a detailed stats menu here. And you can actually see absolutely everything it does. It shows the rate of fire, bullet penetration, your movement speed, weapon handling, recoil, and your ammo and reload time. Like, why is it so hard to toss this into COD? Like, this is just the little things. And this is the TAC-50 build I'm going to use. And uh, here's the detailed stats in case you're curious. Let's go ahead, hop in, and test these weapons out. Oh, what? Okay, so one issue with this is it doesn't seem like my class saved. So I'm going to have to remake it really quick. So hopefully that's something they fix in the future because that's really annoying if I have to go and remake my class every single time. But from what I've seen on Twitter, it seems like they're very responsive to feedback. Like, uh, I saw a lot of people complaining about the server issues, and it's even something I complained about in the last video, and they went through and they fixed that. I found games a lot faster. Like, we found this game pretty quickly. I've also seen a lot of people showing off the movement of this game. I say showing off in quotes because it's mostly people just, like, sliding around and shaking their camera real fast, acting like they're doing something crazy. And there's, like, a fine line between, like, wanting to have good movement in your game and having, like, obnoxious movement that's just annoying to do. And so what they have is, like, a slide and jump cooldown. So the more you jump and slide, you get, like, fatigue. That way you're not just constantly spamming, sliding, and jumping. Like, there's not a whole lot of slide canceling going on, even though it is an option. And you can do it every once in a while. It's just you can't do it like back to like back to back like that. Which I think it's good. It's good to have a healthy balance of movement in your game. And I said this last time we played, but I figured I, I'd reiterate it. I don't think this is going to be the COD killer, but it could be a good COD competitor or alternative. So I think games like this, especially if like the devs are, are very passionate about it, which it seems like they are, at least at the moment. This is still just the beta. So we'll see what happens when the full game comes out and how... Uh, responsive they'll be to that and attentive they'll be but it really seems like they're trying to fill that void in the the cod market of uh, a game that actually wants to do what its fans want because i know ubisoft's dropped some like games in the past that you know had potential but they just kind of like left it out to dry or they were just kind of duds and they didn't really uh you know fulfill what they were promising but this game it seems like they actually want to make it work and they want to make this happen and it's just refreshing to see something like that in this scene when it seemed like the the last few cods have like always taken a step backward from the the previous like each cod that comes out it's like something's removed instead of being added and something that everybody enjoyed was tweaked to a point where it's unrecognizable from how it was. Like, for example, Modern Warfare 2's perk system. Nobody asked for that. Y'all didn't have to reinvent the wheel. It's entirely possible to, you know, try to innovate and do something different with your game while keeping all, the, like, the core elements that actually make it work. And I have seen a, a few complaints about how this is, like, uh, BO4's, like, hero system or whatever. How you have certain abilities. But honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal. The abilities all seem pretty balanced. Like, uh, they all have, like, their own quirks in benefit you in different ways but they don't seem like super overpowered like it, it seems like you have counters to certain things and if all else fails you have an emp grenade that you can throw at people and disable their abilities and i'm pretty sure one of the legends that they've kind of teased at or like one of the faction groups like the watchdog group seems like their abilities basically you take away other people's abilities or borrow from them. So it'll be fun to see how that faction works in this game. But so far, this ACR has been kind of nice. Like, it kind of tears through people. It's got a fast time to kill. And it's competing with, like, a lot of other weapons. It's not bad. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, we kind of got him spawn trapped at the moment. Oh, shit. I don't want to get in that. Oh, yes, I do. I'll take all the smoke. Y'all can't stop me. Okay, they might. They might. They might. Good thing we got our stim. Ooh. 
Oh no, why did I peek into that shield? I know I can't shoot through it. I just gotta wait for it to go away. And we're doing pretty good there too. Had them pinned back in their spawn. The nice thing about this too is if I have a good game, I'm not gonna be punished for it. I don't think there's SPMM in here. I'm almost positive there's not, but I don't wanna say for certain. So if you go and you ball out, you don't have to worry about your next game just being thrown up against like professional players. You can go as hard as you want and you'll just be thrown against literally whoever's playing at that moment. Their skill level does not matter, which is something that I feel like every COD player has been begging for the last few years. And that's game. Oh, we lost? Damn, I thought I was going in. We went 27 and 14. That's actually pretty good for me. Damn. I, I feel like I've been playing this for a few days now and I'm still seeing maps I've never seen before. And I don't think I've played on one where I'm like, that was awful. I hate that map, at least not yet. And now I'm going to try out the TAC 50 since I haven't had a chance yet. And I don't know if it's the same exact class that we made earlier, but uh, I think it's pretty close to it. But one thing I'm really scared about for this game and I think that it really needs, it's some sort of grind to it. So I know as, as being a camo grinder, I need something to work towards while I play. Like the gameplay can be fun and everything. But if there's nothing for me to work towards, it can kind of just get stale. And from what I saw before, but I think it's been removed, is there was a camo menu showing you like gold, like silver, bronze, gold, and all that. But it seemed like it was just working towards like leveling the weapon up to unlock those, which I think is an extremely boring grind. They need some sort of like camo challenge or some sort of cosmetic, something that you can work towards and show off in the game. And it's actually like a, a satisfying grind and a, a grind that people would want to do. Because I don't want to see something like what's going on in Modern Warfare right now with uh, the trophy hunt event. Where you're just spending all this time playing through full games just to get like uh, emblems and calling cards and things like that. I want to get like weapon blueprints, weapon camos, maybe operator skins that actually look cool. I don't know, just anything satisfying to grind towards. What? You survived that? Okay, maybe one of the characters is a little broken and it's the healing one. I can't complain too much because I'm I'm playing as her. But surviving a full sniper shot to like the shoulder is crazy. Ooh. Ooh. I will say the sniping is pretty satisfying though. Once you actually start hitting shots, at least for me, as y'all know, I can't really aim too well. But when I am aiming well, it's pretty fun. Ooh. We're streaking a bit. Oh, I had to say something lucky you're lucky the game ended you would have been done and we lost again uh let me, let me play another one let me get my groove of sniping i guess there is a little bit to work towards here because there's this like pseudo battle pass type thing here for the beta for rewards that you'll actually get in the game like when the full game releases but uh i don't know if i want to grind all of this out it doesn't seem like it goes up very fast but some of these skins look cool like this mp7 looks nice this operator skin's okay and this is like a default looking weapon like eh. all right no more messing around we're not losing another game i'll be on each point and i'll be picking off anybody that tries to come and take it that's my duty Ooh, get out of here you should also be out of here oh teammate took care of him cool i'll take your friend never mind y'all behave now oh and now i'm dead that was a fluke right there that was a, that was 100 a fluke this is where the real sniping happens Ooh, legged him. Beat his ass. Wait, one more time. Come here. Where are you running to? Okay, that's where you are. Now, one thing I feel like is a little off with this game is sometimes it seems like my inputs are delayed. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's actually the gun I have or I feel like I can melee faster than I can. Yeah, it, there's a huge delay between melees. There's not really a whole lot of lunge to it. So it's not like you get like sense towards whoever you're meleeing at. You have to keep up with them like on your own independently, like sprinting with them. But I guess I'm trying to play it too much like COD and I, I'm over relying on going for like up close melees. So maybe it's on me. Ooh. What? Okay, see right there. I, I shot way earlier than that and then the bullet came out so late. Ooh, but we're still holding it down. Peek out, go ahead. There you go. I had to track him for a little bit, but ain't no thing. Oh, that could have been a clat right there. If only I had the aim for it. Sit down. I'll be taking that zone. All right, y'all need to get off of you. Like right now. I don't know if I'm lucky or if it's just something with this character. But I feel like I survive on one HP so much. Oh, I should have hit that for sure. Oh, and they slid under it. Damn. I was getting some nice shots right there, too. I was feeling myself. This is like a battle for B. They keep taking it back. These guys are nice. Oh, what? Did the railing block it? Well, that's bullshit. 
That's 100% bullshit. Sit down. Oh, I'll, I'll have a seat. Damn, no matter how hard I try, these guys are just messing me up over at B. Now they won't even let us near it. But hold on. I'm gonna fight my way to it. Come on, teammate. Help me out here. Never mind. I'll do it all on my own. Unless we can get B right now, I, I think it's chalked. We might be done. Oh, yeah. It's done. Damn. I was hitting some nice shots, though. I'm happy with my sniping. 19 and 16. Not the greatest score, but at least we went positive. And eh, maybe I was wrong. It seemed like good progression there. That was pretty fast. But I'm going to wrap it up there. This game has really fun gameplay and a lot of potential, and I think it can rival COD. It just needs a few more things to get it there, and it needs the support of the community. So if you like COD and you want to see it do better, I'd say support this game. Give it a try. Uh, it is free to play. It is a closed beta, so if you can get a code, go ahead and try it out. They're dropping codes everywhere. I don't think it's too hard to get into but uh it might take a little bit of time but let me know what you think of the game uh will you be playing it uh what does it need to get that next step up to actually be a competitor to cod and uh how do you think it'll do but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later